Cisco ASAV, VPN, endpoint AMP integration with AnyConnect. Okay, so it doesn't have to be ASAV, but I think you guys know that by now. Um, if you've been following the series, it can be any ASA. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Cisco endpoint AMP console. We're gonna go to our download connectors and we're gonna grab a specific group. I'm only gonna show you how to get this installed for a, if a specific group. Um, but you can certainly create this based on, you know, how your individual users or groups need endpoint amp depending on the settings that they might have. So, um, for example, you might have one group that has, uh, you know, all the capabilities turned on an endpoint amp and then you might have another that has a subset. And so you'd be downloading separate packages for each. Okay, so I just showed you real quick the web server. Um, so you need an internal web server um, to in order to do this. Um, and my web server, so what I need to do is put that file up on that web server. It needs to be HTTPS and you should um, use a signed certificate that your endpoints will trust. So I'm VPN in here now. I'm gonna copy this file over um, to my, uh, root directory and again I just did this very quick uh, using Ubuntu um, and uh, from here uh, when I thought was the naming you're, you're probably going to name the file or the executable something that's meaningful so you understand you know what um, group this is applied to in my case I didn't do that I just called it endpoint amp just to simplify the naming um, or what I say, endpoint.exe or something like that. So all I'm going to do is copy the file over, give it an, a name uh, that's a little bit easier for me to remember. Again, you, you'd create something a little bit more meaningful. It could be hr.exe, right, um, as an example. Just check to see it's there. That looks good. And this is the actual endpoint I'm going to test with. All right, so just bring this up so I can see the name just in case I do any spelling mistakes. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go into uh, any Connect client profile. We're going to create a uh, profile. Again, this would be something uh, that's named meaningful. And we're going to use the AMP enabler and say OK. So that's pretty easy. Then we go into edit it. And this is where, again, you need a certificate that's trusted, right? In my case, I did not do that. I used the self-signed. Um, and then what you have to do is make sure that on the endpoint, it's trusted as well. I'm not recommending that, uh, but, um, but it worked. All right, so once we, 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 it goes through a validation, it's gonna let you know if there's an issue here. Um, in my case, it's good now, right? And what I'm gonna do here is, this is not actually downloading it on the endpoint. I just wanna make sure that I have access to it. So I can see when I'm VPN'd in, I could go to the web server and pull that file down as an example. Um, and so what I wanna do here is apply this out. We've got the profile created, but now we need to go into uh, group policy and assign it. Again, these all would be uh, names that are meaningful to your users, right? We go into AnyConnect, and here we need the um, AMP enabler. Now, I enabled Umbrella here as uh, at first. I went back and changed that because I want to keep these videos very specific. I don't want to, uh, so maybe I'll create another one that shows Umbrella and the endpoint AMP being pushed to the, the endpoint. But uh, anyways, I removed it from here. You'll say OK, then you'll apply. And we should be good to go. At this point now, it's just a matter of connecting. We'll go ahead and authenticate. And here I'm just reminding that I removed the umbrella piece. So if you don't see it come down, that's why it's not coming down. I removed it. And you can see now the uh, downloading of uh, Dart. Uh, this is for troubleshooting purposes, um, as well as the AnyConnect AMP enabler piece. And now you can see there's um, AnyConnect. We're connected. 
Let me just bring this back up here. And we can see AMP Enabler downloading AMP for endpoints, and then it'll go through the installation, and um, uh, then you're good, right? AMP Enabler should show up, and it should connect to the cloud, register the endpoint, and the policies now are enforced. So if we have a quick look here, we can see that it's at an X still, it's uh, disconnected, and now it's connected. Pretty easy stuff, right? Cisco Endpoint AMP with AnyConnect, making sure our roaming users are protected.